how you perkin? I hope you perkin good. So, it's that time again where we put the tarot cards to the side. And again, don't knock it until you watch it. Got a good track record on the channel here. But we put those to the side and instead channel a message. And this time specifically, because of all of your questions and your concerns and your requests here lately, I asked for tell us the message that we most need to hear right now, given that the world is figuratively and literally uh, blowing up um, in a lot of different ways and people are freaked out. People are understandably scared and we need some insights and we need some help and we need some guidance and we just want to know kind of what to brace ourselves for in a sense. So I had that in mind when I asked to, to channel today's messages. So we're going to get into those in just a second. I am a licensed mental health clinician as well as a spiritual intuitive. And in these videos, like I said, we usually take a look at the two of the tarot, but usually once a month or so, we'll, we'll bring things down, slow things down, ground things down, connect to the light beings out there. So I always um, ask to channel my light team. Uh, so angels, archangels, um, spirit guides, spirit of Gaia, light beings surrounding me now, anything that is of the light for the highest good of all sentient kind and ask to channel the message that we need to know. And like I said, I was a little bit more specific today. Uh, when I asked based on the concerns and requests that I've received. So as always, I kind of get into my meditative space. I channel the message. I type it out as it's coming to me and then I read it off here for y'all. Um, and I always do two of these. One here for everybody and a second message for Perk Squad members, for those of you who want a second message for anybody who likes to have another one. Um, so let's go ahead. I'm going to pull up what I have channeled here and read this off. And again, with those very specific questions and concerns um, in mind. And after I read this, then we'll kind of talk about it for a little bit, debrief it for a little bit, and talk about the next steps because there's some other things that I'm realizing I'm going to need to, to film here and put up shortly based on the things that y'all have asked for and requested. So what we have right here, it says, All, thank you for being here with us today. We are happy to come to you with a message. This is a message that you most need to hear right now, but it is also a message of lingering relevance. One that will be pertinent to hear for days, weeks, and even months to come. In this message, we want to first reassure you that you are not alone, not forsaken, and not forgotten. You are divinely guided now and for eternity. There is nothing that can harm the true essence of your spirit. Nothing that can end your soul and the light spark that you are. That will always continue as it always has before. In all ways and all times, you have multiple helpers in the spirit world. All you need to do is ask for their assistance in whatever worries you, whatever you need assistance solving, wherever you need comfort, they will assist. Be open to recognizing whatever form it may take. We provide this reassurance right now because the primary theme of current times is that of fear 
and more specifically, fear of your own mortality. With tensions rising among divisions on your planet and with many souls departing from this lifetime, it is challenging to think of much else. We understand this and we are sorry that it weighs so heavily on all of your minds and hearts. Please know that nobody is ever alone. No earthly soul who joins us in spirit does so without our knowledge or without our help. As we have stated, we assist in all ways and in all times, including when crossing the veil. We are there when they need it most and their souls are very well cared for, as are yours. We know that this may be difficult to hear, difficult to believe, and possibly even bring up thoughts of confusion, anger, or fear. Those are natural emotions in such sensitive conversations, and yet we are of the stance that this needs to be stated. We will assist you in integrating this message within yourselves. We will help you to see the truth in it, find an acceptance in it, and feel a peace with it in all divine time. Please do not misinterpret this message through a lens of fear. Please do not infer the worst of all outcomes. Please do not receive anything from it other than what we have specifically stated here. All further assumptions are created by your fears and fears alone. Tune into us for messages of faith instead of the messages of fear you receive from other sources. Ask us to help you interpret your own inner discernment. We love you so very much, your spirit guides. So that was a lot and again second message will be coming for um perk squad members in a little bit but just to debrief this one so as i was typing it it's so interesting how they were saying at the end like don't misinterpret this through a lens of fear because as i was typing it i could start to feel certain things you know within me changing and I was like okay hold on I can't be getting a little bit like eh, you know on edge because I'll lose my channel you know you got to stay high vibe to be channeling what you what you need to channel so I was like okay make sure make sure you're stable here and I know my connection was um but I I do appreciate that they put that there in the end because a lot of us for obvious reasons tend to catastrophize a lot of us for understandable reasons, tend to allow our anxiety to go from this little walnut nutshell over here, spiraling and snowballing into something really large. And it takes up a lot of space in our minds, hearts, and spirits. And again, that's understandable, especially to those of us who have been diagnosed with various, you know, mental disorders and things like that uh like anxiety like ocd um stuff that that tends to take our mind into um intrusive thoughts obsessive thoughts things like that but they were very clear at the end to read only what they stated only what they said to pull that out of the message and not make inferences and so then this means that this and then this means that this and they're like nope we're not going to go there we're not going to take it to that so if you notice that your brain took it to that and that you're like wait a second well if I have to think of it from a space of not catastrophizing and not getting anxious, maybe I need to rewind this and listen to that first part again through a lens of just hearing it only for what it is objectively. Then please do that for yourself if you feel like you fit that 
that camp of people. Um, please do that for yourself. Please, you know, rewatch the video from the beginning and re-listen to that first part through a different lens of, okay, I'm just listening to it matter of fact, hearing the objective statements, taking it in from a place of faith, not fear. Remember they, they delineated that in the end, faith, not fear, and see how it resonates different on your spirit when you hear it that second time. For those of you who may have, you know, gone the anxiety route the first time, I'm putting that out there because again, I fall in that camp. It happens. Yeah, I'm a licensed mental health clinician. I'm also someone who has been diagnosed with anxiety and OCD, which is very, you know, OCD in and of itself is an anxiety ridden uh, disorder. And I've struggled with this my whole life. Y'all know I wear a lot of wigs most of the time because I have trichotillomania and I pull out my hair, I've been pulling out my hair every single day that I've been alive since I was eight eight months old that I know of because in my baby book at eight months old it says Beatrice starts pulling at her hair so you know that's a thing that's a thing um so I get it you know personally and professionally I get it and that's why I was glad to see that they wrote that in there and that's why during this debrief time that's what stood out to me as, okay, I need to change my perspective and I need to reread this or I need to change my perspective and I need to re-listen to this. Um, so I noticed that about myself uh, and I thought, well, if I notice it about myself, you know, may as well be relatable and express that out loud rather than kind of keeping that to myself and be like, okay, noted, but I won't bother them with that. No, what if, what if that's good for y'all to hear too? What if y'all felt like me or had a moment like I did <laughs> and and wanted to go through that too so I just wanted to throw that out there um for anybody that 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 might be beneficial for um like I said there's another video that I want to film soon and there's also this uh second message for the perk squad extended so um putting a pin in this one for a second the second message for perk squad extended um again that'll be coming at you shortly for for perk squad members um and perk squad members get lots of perks you know weekly forecasts extra videos lots of stuff they get their own penelopes by by their names all kinds of stuff video shout outs like this shout out to you magda and thank you for being a member of the perk squad we are happy to have you magda and thank you for being a member of the perk squad um love the video shout outs so the there will be a second message again for for those of y'all who are interested in that but for for everybody else for those of y'all that are like uh, it's okay you know i just want to stick to these totally fine um there will be a video coming up for y'all and everybody here uh publicly I haven't filmed it yet, but I have been keeping a list of all your questions here. Um, you've been having a lot of questions lately about the things that are happening overseas, over in the East, relative to where we are here in the States. Um, Y'all have been asking a lot of things, especially about the Israel-Hamas situation that has people um, understandably feeling all kinds of ways. Um, and I've been, I've been taking down all your questions. I've been saying, thank you for the suggestions. I've noted, the, noted them, um, putting them on my considerations list. And so I'm going to pull that list out, see if I can kind of categorize all your questions into certain umbrella questions. Like there's a lot of questions about, you know, the U S and how the U S is going to be and how those of us in the U S will be affected by this. And all of those questions can kind of be couched under U S what can we look into and find out about the U.S. in this? And then there's other kind of categories of things. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull all those questions together and categorize them and come up with something that I can... Um, that I can pull and ask some questions on and get us a video on that soon. So in my head, that will be the next video I film. If something else comes up and I need to film something else ahead of that, then I will. But right off the bat, that's my intention is to film that next. So thank y'all to everyone that submitted your questions and, and suggestions. I, I, I keep track of those. Um, 
so that's coming and then of course as usual we'll end this video with a b-roll i like to end videos with b-rolls for those of you who may not usually stay to the end i like to end videos in b-rolls it's videos of puppy shenanigans for my for my four dogs or you know whatever other things are happening on in my life and stuff like that because all of those things tend to lighten the mood at the end of these videos these videos can get serious sometimes these videos can get heavy sometimes um even even these channeled light readings and so i like to put those things at the end people usually get a little smile a little chuckle a little eye roll a little something that that kind of lifts some spirits there at the end and helps to <sighs> A debrief everything um before moving on to the rest of your life regularly scheduled programming so i'll be plugging in some b-rolls we'll see what kinds of crazy shenanigans are in there and hope to see perk squad members on this extended video i'm about to do and hope to see all the rest of you percolators on the upcoming video that i hope to film sometime this week so Anywho, don't be a stranger. Come back and see me and Penelope here and our matching reds. <laughs> and I will come at you later. Follow me. Follow me. Bye, y'all. You're a Muppet, baby. You're a Muppet, baby. Quit glaring at mum. Quit glaring at mum. Muppet. With a curly cue on the bottom of your ear like a Brady Bunch. At least you let Squee give you eye licks now. Good boy. <laughs> Jesus. Squee miss missing a lot of fur on her boat. Got a lot of patches here. Mm-hmm. Whatever you do. How do you call the things that we have in the door? The summer, the spring. Scoot, move. The turtle? Scooter. Scoot. Scoot. Because it's like he's so top heavy and then he's got these tiny little mm -hmm. pegs on the yeah. bottom. Looks ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, then they're facing outward. They're yeah. not even facing forward. They're facing <laughs> outward. You're very... You're not proportional. <laughs> Pardon the interruption, percolators. New merch, new merch. So putting this out there um, that we did have some requests for new merch and uh, wanted to have something that was bright and colorful and perky, just like all of us. <laughs> so here we go. Here's the new Love You Mean It merch. Got stuff available. Um, men's sizing, women's sizing, unisex sizing, fur baby sizing, and all kinds of stuff. So check it out.